Hello again. So I am still up sorting through all of this weekend's uh, fabulous discoveries, trying to get ahead on stuff for this week because uh, if you've been watching, you'll know that I have family in town and we have a lot going on this week, including a fabulous camping trip. So trying to get some stuff done whilst the family is asleep. All right, so we are still on the apartment clean out, which was most likely either a um, eviction or or could have been a home foreclosure. I don't know, something like that. Uh, check my other videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, all right, what do we have? We have a Mario Kart Wii lunchbox. Not nasty, that's awesome. We have more recipe cards. These ones are pages. And if you haven't watched my other videos, if you have, sorry, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but if you haven't, then you will know that these are a really awesome find because a lot of these recipe cards and recipe pages, ooh, and look at this bracelet. Isn't it fabulous? If you watched my last video on this same series, you will know where and how I got this fabulous bracelet. All right, so... Anyway, these these were part of um, these mail order recipe clubs that you could be a part of and that I was a part of back in the day. And they are now rather collectible online. So if you find any of these, bigger, smaller, well, they're not going to be bigger than this, but <laughs> smaller um, of these different individual recipes, definitely hold on to them and check them out on eBay because they do have value. People are trying to finish... Uh, to complete their collections. So these are a very good find. All right, moving along. Um, more sucker, popsicle, not popsicle, sucker lollipop type things. These are molds. You can see where the sticks go. I would do chocolate, but you could do, you know, sugar, whatever. So that's cool. We have evaporated milk. And if you watched um, my along for the ride videos from this last weekend, then you will know that the food that I grabbed out of the bin, I checked the expirations on all of them before I brought them out and anything that was more than two years, um, past the sell by date or the best by date. Um, I went ahead and left those, I left those in the bin. So everything that I grabbed is still good to use. So evaporated milk more of these sucker molds just plain round with oh not plain they have smiley faces and some stars we have a libby's pumpkin cheesecake kit try that out green beans diced tomatoes more green beans Sorry, you can't see that. Uh, macaroni. Some snack foods. Some aloe vera gel. That is fabulous. Always good to have. Some Old Spice Fiji. Two-in-one for the hair. Some Montreal steak. Spice. A very large Tupperware wash that. Look at me with my bins all set up. There are a few dishes in this load and things that need to be washed, so we'll put the things that need to be washed in there. A bunch of empty baggies, and I'm guessing these are to go with their lollipops because here are the lollipop sticks. Pretty cool, huh? I think you know we will be making lollipops probably of the chocolate variety. More paint. In the last video, you saw that we found orange. Now we have white, and we will add that to our craft supplies. That's fabulous. More decongestants. Chicken gravy mix. Some prescription medication, and it is... Mmm... It's acetaminophen with codeine. 
and it's not expired. And yes, I'm going to hold on to it. And if you watched my last video, sorry, I keep saying that, you will know my thoughts on such things. Judge me if you will, that is up to you. I'm not a drug addict, I'm not going to abuse it. I am going to put it into our emergency apocalypse supplies. I'm not like a prepper, but it just makes sense to have stuff around just in case you're not able to get a hold of it later when you need it, whether because there is like disaster or you lose your insurance or whatever. When you find stuff like this or antibiotics, things like that, that there's a good chance you're going to end up needing um, and they're not expired and you have a way to store them, preserve them, whatever. Yeah, I hold on to them. So think what you want. This is a fantastic find. One of the main reasons that I had to climb into that bin was to get all of these. And at first I had thought they were just like essential oils or something, which are like huge here right now, but they're not. I mean, there is oil, it says cinnamon oil, but it, they're flavors. How cool is this? And I don't think any of them are opened. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'll go through them one by one, but I don't think any of them are opened. So we have wintergreen flavor. We have pina colada. Mix that with some vodka or something. Anyway, um, watermelon. Yeah, vodka. We don't mess around. Let's see. Uh, butter rum. Ah, or rum. How about that? Orange oil. Yeah, it's late at night, okay? So just be nice. Um, more watermelon, more watermelon. They like watermelon. We've got more watermelon, more pina colada. Well, lots of, okay, and there's a cinnamon. Lots of doubles. Must be ones that they like to use a lot. More cinnamon, more cinnamon. And more pina colada. So lots of doubles of stuff. Anyway, awesome flavorings that I am quite certain were for the lollipop enterprise they were attempting. All right, let's move on to the next box. All right, moving right along, we have coaxial cable wires, brand new. We have an adorable uh, X's and O's tic-tac-toe. That's what it's called, tic-tac-toe. That is fantastic. That is so cute. How awesome is this? Haven't I told you that I find tons of cleaning supplies in the bins? If I haven't told you, well, now I have. Tons of cleaning supplies. Um, what is the deal with cookie cutters this year? Like, oh my goodness. I have mountains of cookie cutters. But these ones are metal and they're awesome. So that's cool. Christmas tree, stocking. Oh, these are gonna have to go in the to be washed bin. Rings for canning. Beautiful snowflake. Seriously, so many cookie cutters. Um, yeah, we're gonna throw that away and we'll sanitize our hands. Um, I'm sure it was just like for the coating, but anyway better safe than sorry so as I've told you before bins and like plastic bins and baskets the little ones I don't buy because I guarantee you I will find bazillions of them in the bins are they always exactly what I want or the right colors that I want or whatever no but you can spray paint stuff and honestly if you keep at this long enough you'll find every color you could possibly want and every style and size and shape and everything else so anyway awesome all right, snowman. Um, uh, really yucky, just needs to be washed. Contigo water bottle top. Spatula. Trying not to be too noisy. The family is sleeping below me. Tape, it's like for plumbing, I think. Tortillas. I don't think I checked the dates on these. I think they're the one thing I didn't check. Oh, but they're fine. July 18th of this year. How about that? And Don Julio just happens to be our favorite. Yeah, for real, reals, guys. Like, serious. Tortillas. I guess I better check the date of the other one, huh? Yep, July 5th. 
so we are just fine. How cool is that? And sad, but yeah, works for me. All right, what else? More evaporated milk, syrup, popcorn. Kids will be excited about that. Pineapple Supreme cake mix. Dream Whip. Stevens. Oh, Stevens is the best. Uh, another water bottle. Needs to be washed. Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Remember I said I have bazillions of clear glass vases every summer because of the bins. <laughs> Tons of them. Here's more. A big one. A bunch of stuff in there. Oh, look at that. Seriously. $13.99 they were charging for this thing? Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't pay for flower vases. What I will do with them is I'll put them all together and sell them as a lot just on like a local yard sale site or something like that um, people buy those for their weddings and there are weddings all the time around here people are always getting married and having babies and stuff like that so it's good to hold on to those lids with bands yep awesome i do bottle quite a bit uh, of fruit and vegetables every year because if you've watched my garden videos, then you know that I have tons of fruit trees and berries and stuff. Anyway, can't open her. But I'm sure you saw that. Some bottles. Okay. Lids. whole bunch of matches. That's awesome. A rock. Ready to read. I love my mommy. Uh, casserole dish. Oh, these are awesome. These. These fabulous hooks. I think I will use these um, to... I'm not farting, okay? I know it sounds like it. I'm just moving the chair. <laughs> It's late, guys. It's late, but I gotta get these done and out of the way and all this stuff put away so that tomorrow I can just focus on our hike and our getting together with our family. But no, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not flatulent. It's the chair. I promise. I swear. Okay, don't believe me. I don't care. It's true. Anyway, these hooks, I'm thinking I can use these for that hammock that um, I found before. And there were two hammocks and one was... Um, still salvageable and the other one I used in um, some gardening decor. Anyway, I think these will be perfect. So, awesome. Stay tuned for that. Screws, nuts, bolts. A fixture. Keys. Random board game piece. These, these are like they're not sho are they shoelaces or are they camera straps? I think they're shoelaces. What is the deal with these people and shoelaces? In the last video? Yeah, seriously, shoelaces. I don't know. They were doing something with them. Glue. Teaspoon. Well, sorry. Third teaspoon. More hair clips. Screws. Some kind of strappy thing. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> okay to my hand. That is the most ridiculous lighter I have ever seen. What is that for? Like, what is the point of that? Is that a gag thing? Like a gag gift? Is that a compensation type thing we're making up for something with the size of our lighter? I I don't know, but that's ridiculous. But yeah, we'll put it, put it in our emergency supplies. Um, people are funny. Anyway... Anchor, wall anchor, um, a bag of rocks. Every kid, seriously, every kid that I know has <laughs> random bags or pockets of rocks somewhere in their life. And here we go. Here's more. I'll dump those out in the garden. And 
a penny. And, ooh, and a nickel. Look at that. Money in the bins. Real money. Tools and marble. And a big glass cutting board that needs to be washed. Okay, I think that's it. Right? Yes? Maybe? Yes. Okay, I think that is it for those, and that might be it for that, like, apartment clean-out. That's what we've decided that it was. Um, sadly, I never did find anything to go along with that American Girl wrapper, so I'm pretty bummed about that, but remember, I was trying to not get my hopes up that high, right? We were not getting our hopes up, but dang it, it would have been awesome, but Anyway, it is what it is. We find what we find, and we're thrilled with what we've found. Lots of good stuff, even that, <laughs> that lighter. I'm thinking silly thoughts. Um, all right, that's going to be it for now. Check back later. If you watched my ride-along videos from this weekend, you will know that there is a lot of other good stuff from some schools that I hit up this weekend. So please check back. I will get those um sorted and documented just as soon as i can i don't think i will do it tonight but uh but that, those will be coming soon so check back for that and um and yeah i think i need to go to bed well no i gotta get this stuff put away i'll get this stuff put away and then i'm going night night so good night or good morning or good day to you thank you for joining me it's always a pleasure to have you we'll catch you all later and uh bye